Have you ever wondered how chemists form carbon-nitrogen bonds in pharmaceuticals and materials? And I am so glad that you're here to learn all about buckwald hartwig amination. Phil Barron of the Scripps Research Institute is even quoted as saying that every second of every day there was someone somewhere in the world performing this specific reaction. So make sure you stick around to the end so you learn all about this carbon-nitrogen bond forming reaction. This cross-coupling reaction revolutionized the way that we make aryl amines. At its core, the buckwald hartwig amination is a way to make carbon to nitrogen bonds using palladium catalysis. Aryl amines are incredibly important for drug synthesis, agrochemicals, and even materials. At its core, the buckwald hartwig amination couples an aryl halide with an amine using a palladium catalyst and a base. The result? A new carbon to nitrogen bond forming our aryl amine. And this reaction provides a more efficient and selective reaction compared to those like nucleophilic aromatic substitutions. In the generally accepted catalytic cycle, the first first step of this reaction is oxidative addition between the aryl halide and the palladium catalyst, which inserts itself in between the carbon to halide bond, forming what's called oxidative addition and allowing us to change the oxidation state of palladium from palladium zero to palladium two. And now the new aryl group is acting as a ligand on palladium as well as the halide. The next step is generally considered to be like a nucleophilic displacement where the amine can come in and replace the halide, allowing us to kick off the halide. And now we are left with palladium, which is now bound still to the aryl group, but also the amine. And importantly, that amine can then be deprotonated in the next step, where the base that we're using in this reaction can come and deprotonate this proton through the addition of a base. So remember, we're adding a base to this. And what will happen is that now we will have that amine ligand that has been deprotonated. And then subsequently, what can happen is reductive elimination to form our new carbon to nitrogen bond, where the product is formed here where now we are left with our new carbon to nitrogen bond and our aryl amine. Importantly, for each of these steps, there are different conditions that need to be considered in order to optimize each elementary step of this overall transformation. For example, control of the ligand can help with both oxidative addition and reductive elimination. Control of the base that's used to deprotonate the amine can also impact subsequent transformations, and many other reaction conditions can optimize these reactions. Specifically, when we consider the types of amines that can be used to couple between different aryl groups. For example, primary amines versus secondary amines or even tertiary amines react very differently. And for that, a lot of this has been overcome via the design of different ligands that support the palladium catalysts. Speaking of ligands, let's talk about the role of what are known as Buckwald-type ligands. Professor Stephen Buckwald's group at MIT developed a series of bulky, electron-rich phosphine ligands that dramatically improve reaction efficiency. These ligands, such as XFOS, S-FOS, BRET-FOS, and RUFOS help stabilize the palladium catalyst, enhance oxidative addition, and facilitate facile reductive elimination. In this figure, we can see the different structural features of the biaryl phosphine ligands and how each of these contributes to the efficiency of the catalysts that are derived from them. The studies that have been carried out provide us with a mechanistic framework with which to rationally modify the ligand structures in order to tune their properties. This and the fact that their synthesis is short and modular provide us with a mechanistically guided process for the evolution of of ligands that confer enhanced properties on the catalysts derived from them. The outstanding activity of the catalysts derived from biaryl phosphine ligands has been attributed to a combination of electronic and steric properties that enhances the rates of oxidative addition, transmetallation, and reductive elimination steps in the catalytic cycle. John Hartwig's group provided deep mechanistic insight into this reaction, specifically exploring base effects, how different bases impact amine activation. The Hartwig group is also responsible for developing non-phosphine ligands and nickel-based alternatives. Together, the Buckwald and Hartwig groups transformed carbon to nitrogen cross coupling into a widely adopted method in synthetic chemistry, from medicinal chemistry to material science. So, to recap, the Buckwald Hartwig amination enables efficient carbon to nitrogen bond formation, a palladium catalyst drives a reaction via a three step cycle, Buckwald ligands enhance efficiency and selectivity, and Hartwig's work expanded the mechanism and broadened applications. And understanding this reaction is key to mastering modern cross coupling chemistry. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and comment if you have any questions related to palladium catalyzed cross coupling and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on another video. I'll see you next time.